I'm here with Chris and Mirkel from Senna, and they specialize in smart helmets with Bluetooth connectivity. We've got a uh, helmet here that we believe first is the safest because you don't have earbuds um, to communicate. The speakers are right above your ears so you can hear all the ambient noise and cars around you. It gives you the connectivity so you can communicate when you're riding and that's what you're looking for. One of the biggest part is that you can communicate to your buddies, up to four riders in a group. And if you ride a bicycle with your buddy through the forest or even through work, city, whatever, and you try to talk to your buddy, it's impossible without yelling. With this one, you just can talk on a normal level. Cool, so I think we want to see a demonstration of this, so that's what we're going to do. So first part of the demonstration, we're going to turn it on and it's going to say hello, I believe. Hello. After you turn on, um, you, you don't need to do anything because it will pair it to your smartphone, which you made the very first time, you only need to do it once, and then it will automatically go back to your smartphone and will be automatically go back to the other helmet. But it's not like it's always on. You need to say, okay, I want to talk to you. So you press the middle button and then both helmets will open the channel to communicate. So they're currently pairing them. So as you can see, we're kind of all the way over here and Mirko is much closer to the camera and Chris is going to try and order some lunch. Mirko, can we get a couple sandwiches? Oh, sure we can. Let me grab it right away over here. <laughs> no, we can do up to 900 meters apart while riding um, and we can talk just as if we're talking right next to each other. There's no need to yell. Um, the speaker is easily picked up. There is also an advanced noise control system in it, which means if you're riding very fast because you have big legs or an e-bike, then the wind noise will be reduced up to nothing. So it's just clear communication. Pretty cool. Now we've moved on to a commuter helmet with a, a digital camera built into it. Yes, this is the X1 Pro. It has a digital 1080p video camera. The cool thing about this is if you're riding and something happens, you hit record, it loops back and saves the last five minutes. An unexpected adventure happens, you can get it without having to go, oh, I didn't record it. So it's kind of a cool feature that everybody likes. Nice, and then we've also got a kind of more streamlined race helmet. Yes, yeah, so that was our commuter helmet, which is 80% of the market. But we came out with a much lighter race helmet, the R1, which is going to be for a smaller market, but it's much lighter, has all the same aspects as the X1, just in a lighter, more sleek condition. So you never know, that could be quite a cool thing for riders in races where they need to communicate with each other for team tactics and stuff yeah. like that. So they can do that. Also, for the riders who are training, you can connect this up to four objects, your training device, heart rate monitor, um, nav system, anything like that. Now we're moving on to the future for next year for Senna and it's a Enduro helmet. Yeah, it's coming for, it's planned to be there in 2018. Uh, we just finished the design. Um, this time we choose a more European style and it, it, called, it will call maybe the coverage. It's not 100% not now, but we'll have a detachable chin part uh, we'll have a sun visor, we'll have lots of ventilation in it. Of course, it will have the Bluetooth communication system. It will have an action camera like the X1 Pro. So it's kind of the all-in-one helmet. And we'll have two lineups. We will have the Enduro version and we'll have the race version, which is right next to us on the other showcase. It will have tons of ventilation because we figured out this is one of the most important things what people ask us to have more ventilation. So we changed the structure a little bit and we got a, a new system to make the, the helmet more strong, even though it has more ventilation. I presume this is gonna be quite light as well for a, a road race helmet. Oh sure, yeah. We're actually, with the X1, which is our first cycling helmet, we reached the 279 grams, including battery, including electronic speakers, which is very light, and will even be more light with this one. Yeah, so to give you an idea, that's kind of the same as some helmets which don't have the, the kind of Bluetooth connectivity and all the smart exactly. features. Yeah. Cool, thank you.